Hey YouTube, this is the Schrade 303 folding knife and this is one, uh, it's a big beefy knife. Now you can see very clean lines, I like the design, I mean it's, you know, vastly cheaper but has that Sabenza look of not too much, you know, it doesn't have a lot of extra stuff cluttering up a good design. And here you see the lock bar side, it is a frame lock. And you see it has a non-tubed lanyard hole there, dual thumb studs as your openers. Here is a knife in the open position. All right, now the handle on this is stainless steel, right? And it has a titanium nitride type coating uh, just for added wear resistance. As I said, I really just like the design idea of this knife. Very clean, very minimalist, and I like the uniform color. You know, with gray, there's always a danger because there's a really thin line between depressing shades of gray and nice titanium looking shades of gray. I like this shade. A close up of the blade itself, you see it is a partial hollow grind. The blade length is three and three quarters inches. And the steel on this is 9CR18 MOV stainless steel. And as you can see, it's a drop point with a swedge and it's also an extra wide drop point. One of my favorite uh, blade shapes because uh, making it extra wide just gives you that much more curvature to the belly of the knife. Here is a size comparison for you. The Schrade 303 and this is the Schrade 301. This is ver basically the Tanto version of the 303. Now, me personally, I actually like the 303 better uh, in terms of blade shape, right? Uh, however, if you think you might have to do some sort of emergency prying, which you shouldn't do, but like I said, if it's an emergency, uh, this Tanto would be a little bit better in that, you know, pry bar roll just because, well, it's a, it's a freaking, it's a freaking pry bar. But overall, I really, uh, I really do like this blade shape better. Cause I mean, this, <laughs> this extra wide blade, I mean, it reminds me of, uh, like this Roman dagger that I saw, you know, in some documentary. I mean, yeah, that, that's a good blade shape. All right, a closer look. Now you see, they give you a lot of room between the frame and the cutout and the thumb stud. That is exactly how to place a thumb stud. You have a ton of room to get your uh, thumb under it, right, or to the side of it. So that is excellent. See the construction here, right? Open pillar flow through design. Right, and there is the pocket clip. Comes right side carry, tip down, right? And it is a one position pocket clip. Now as far as deployment, pretty good. And you heard that solid lockup. There's the lockup there. Very nice. It's easy to disengage. And you see the centering there. It's perfectly centered. Right, and those thumb studs, they are terraced for uh, just to give you that much more purchase on them. And yeah, the deployment, for such a big, heavy knife, you might think it would be clunky, but the deployment is pretty good. Now, as far as lefties, well, I'm, I'm a lefty myself, and you saw that. I had no problem opening it, even with the left hand, even though the thumb stud is a lot closer, right, to the lock bar there. But it's smooth enough that, uh, yeah, no problem for lefties either. All right, a little bit of a paper test. Now you see it did have some trouble. All right, a little better. Yeah, you see it does, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit rough, you know? So it's definitely not like super razor sharp or anything. Uh, but you see, you know, uh, with this bevel here, uh, just the geometry and how, how wide it is, Right, it, it's not like a, it's not like a thin like paring knife or something that's necessarily meant to slice through. All right, but you could sharpen that up if you wanted it sharper. Now I have to say this is a heavy knife too. It's like it's like nine ounces or something like that. 
All right, so not necessarily if you're going for light, just lightness, you know, may, maybe not for you, but for that nine ounces, I mean, you get something that's, this is solid steel, dudes. This is, you know, this is no way going to break. Uh, but Schrade does listen, okay, for all the people that wanted a much smaller EDC version, uh, they actually made one. And, and check out how much smaller, uh, same winning blade shape, but super light and thin. Okay, so they do have something for that. They're, they're not trying to weigh you down, man. They're just trying to give you options. And this EDC version is called the 303M. Okay, so I'm going to do a little overview review of this as well. Stay tuned for that in the future. All right, so I just meant this to be a quick overview. My final thoughts on this knife. Well, first of all, the price tag on this is around $20. I checked it today. Uh, you know, <laughs> that is a great price for what it is. The durability of this knife, excellent. The big danger with something big and clunky is that it's going to be bad at opening. But as you saw, you can even open this with the left hand. All right, so, and the lockup is, is very strong and secure. Okay, so it's mechanically sound, very good price. And like I said, a winning blade shape, in my opinion. All right, so I hope you enjoyed getting a look at this Schrade 303. This has been We All Juggle Knives. Stay tuned for many more reviews. I'm out.